Our next story is about an artist who brings beautiful old jewelry designs from northern India back to life. Cindy Carter shows us how Mary Elizabeth Long handcrafts new treasures for her company called Nashville Hippie Jewelry. You might say Nashville jewelry designer Mary Elizabeth Long has a flair for the dramatic. It does come in waves, though, my creativity, so I have to strike when the iron's hot. A creative spirit with a bohemian sense of style, Mary Elizabeth is every bit the embodiment of her company's brand, Nash Vegas Hippie Jewelry. And the jewelry, like the designer, is unique, dynamic, and yes, dramatic. I just get lost in the process, and time goes by so quickly. I'll be working on something, and the next thing I know, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and it's like, wow, I need to go to bed, but I get, I get a little obsessed with it. An obsession that totally makes sense if you spend some time with the artist, as we did inside her home studio. Well, I make rings and necklaces. I make earrings. I make it all. Um, but with the metal clay, mostly pendants and rings. This former stylist and makeup artist got serious about jewelry design after her father was diagnosed with dementia and moved in with her. She needed a new creative path, one she could pursue at home. Oh, there it is. That's when Mary Elizabeth rediscovered something she'd dabbled in decades prior, jewelry making. As an added bonus, it was also something she could do with her dad. I got really excited about all the different things I could make, and I found a guy down in New Orleans, and he had all this beautiful jewelry, and I asked him what the medium was, and he said metal clay, and that was my introduction to metal clay. Bronze, copper, silver. Mary Elizabeth makes her own clay with these precious metals. She then molds the clay into her designs often using one of several unique dyes she's collected over the years to make impressions in the clay, giving her work an old world look and feel. So Mary Elizabeth, you really enjoy working with these antique metal dyes. What is it about them that excites you so much? Well, I really love to see these little works of art being brought back to life. They're over 100 years old and they're hand engraved by Indian jewelers. And it's, it's a pleasure for me and an honor, honestly, to bring them back to life. As you can tell, Mary Elizabeth is thrilled to share this unique artistry with a new generation and says the history tied to each die inspires her work as much as the die's actual design. Each one is so special and I really love it when they're signed on the back mm -hmm. and that makes it special. Each piece of jewelry takes a few days to create. Once she makes her clay, molds it into her vision and makes impressions with the dyes, the pieces are dried, sanded, burnished. This is the fun part, it starts looking like metal. And perfected makes it really smooth. Then it's off to the kiln, which Mary Elizabeth admits was initially pretty intimidating. But now she can't wait to see how the pieces turn out. Ooh! Once you burn off the binder, you just have the metal left and then you put it in carbon and you fire it at between 1500 and 1800 degrees and that makes the metal center and it becomes a, a piece of metal and a piece of jewelry. It's a process that makes this designer's modern jewelry again look and feel as if the pieces have been around for decades. Mary Elizabeth can certainly fashion her precious metal clay into a variety of pieces but admits rings and pendants work best. That's because this material has some weight to it. I like to make big pieces, so it can weigh up to 50 grams, it can weigh 100 grams, but it just depends on the piece that I'm making. And the jewelry she makes does make a statement. One of a kind, handmade adornments that have also caught the attention of a few prominent Tennesseans. And this Jeannie Seeley, who's an Opry star, she's worn some of my pieces. Jared James Nichols, who is a blues guitar player, he wears 
some of my jewelry, and a lot of musicians around town. Not bad for a self-proclaimed Nash Vegas hippie, a free-spirited jewelry designer with a flair for drama. And I just turn my music on, and I just start creating, and it's, it's really exciting. Wow.